Good morning. Was Jeremiah trying to sneak out and go over to the Chaldean army's side? We're at Jeremiah 37, and our reading is verses 11 through 15 today as we continue line by line. Look at it. And it happened when the army of the Chaldeans left the siege of Jerusalem for fear of Pharaoh's army, that Jeremiah went out of Jerusalem to go into the land of Benjamin to claim his property there among the people. And when he was in the gate of Benjamin, a captain of the guard was there whose name was Erijah, the son of Shelemiah, the son of Hananiah, and he seized Jeremiah, the prophet, saying, You are defecting to the Chaldeans. Then Jeremiah said, False, I am not defecting to the Chaldeans, but he did not listen to him. So Erijah seized Jeremiah and brought him to the princes. Therefore the princes were angry with Jeremiah, and they struck him and put him in prison in the house of Jonathan the scribe, for they had made that the prison. So no, Jeremiah was not deserting to the Chaldeans. He was just acting on God's plan that he would, you know, buy that field. We talked about it in, in Jeremiah 32 a few days ago. He would buy that field and redeem it, and Jeremiah was just in the process of acting on that. But they grabbed him by force at the gate, and they imprisoned him. Now, who was it that was responsible for this big grab? Well, it doesn't really sound like it's Zedekiah. It's the princes. The princes, they were very tired of Jeremiah going along and teaching and preaching and, and giving his prophecies. They didn't like those prophecies. They wanted to cancel those prophecies. And so they're very glad to find some excuse, some reason to dump Jeremiah. And that's exactly what they're doing here. They take him, they imprison him, they're, they're closing his mouth as best they can. But of course, they can't prevent God from speaking through his servants. But that's what's going on. The princes have it in for Jeremiah, and Zedekiah is, you know, wibbling, wobbling, and going along with the people, whatever they do. But we'll see that he's, he's going to want insight from Jeremiah. So keep this in mind. Whenever there are no warnings being given, if you're in a church and nobody's warning you. Everything is just fine. Everybody relax. Take a deep breath. Sit in your pew a little bit deeper. If that's what's going on and there's no warnings being given from the Word of God, something's wrong. Something's wrong. It, Jeremiah was giving a faithful message, and that's why he enlisted all this animosity and unhappiness against him. Uh, the truth unsettles people. Hey, we want it soft and smooth. We want it with velvet and butter. But Jeremiah wasn't giving them any velvet or butter. So in your own worship setting, you should be hearing some kind of warnings at different times. I mean, unless you're perfected, uh, I think we've got a long ways to go to come close to the Lord Jesus. So let's listen for warnings. And if you're a presenter, a preacher of the truth, you better be giving also some warnings. Jeremiah was giving some warnings. And of course, this got him in trouble. What is better, by the way, to, to not be behind prison bars but to be out of the Lord's will or to give the Lord's message, the one he wants you to give, and maybe you have to eat some prison food for a while. I think we both know the answer, don't we? Better to be in prison and faithful than to be out in the world and soaking up the nonsense of the world. Let's pray. Dear Father in heaven, we want that we will be in your will throughout all moments of salvation history. Jeremiah was in your will, even in this moment, even though it, it looked like maybe he wasn't because, boom, he's taken away to be imprisoned. But many times being in prison is going to be part of your will for us. Lord, help us to be faithful in your will at all times in your salvation history and we'll be just fine, no matter even if we have to eat prison food. Be our guide, be our helper, be our protector and our deliverer. And we thank you for hearing our prayer. We can trust you. Whatever happens is going to be fine as long as we're on your side. Bless us through Jesus, we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. So the answer is Jeremiah was not deserting to the Chaldeans. He was in the Lord's will. And when we're in the Lord's will, that's the place where we want to be, even if it puts us in prison. God be with you today in all that you do.